Hello everybody, my name is The Humble Gamer and welcome back to Subnautica Part 6. Part 6 already, fucking hell. And we've done quite a lot in five parts now, haven't we? So, in this episode, or I should say in the last episode, we went to the Aurora and we got all the stuff done that we could do there, including picking up Seamoth pieces, we fixed the reactor, um, we went to the lab and got the upgrade for the propulsion cannon, which we can't really build until way later anyway. Um, so, yeah, we made a lot of progress. In this episode, I'm going to start by heading to that life pod right there. Um, oh, I need my Seamoth here. Here we go. Um, oh, it's got very low power, actually. That's not great. That's fine. We've got the supplies to swim there if, we, if need be. I should have taken my battery back out of the locker. Bloody idiot I am. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We're having fun. This game is pretty fun, actually. You know, I, I, I actually, I noted uh, when people like Markiplier and Jacksepticeye were playing this, uh, also when I did my gaming shenanigans as well, I, I hate to, to run off topic like this, but when I was doing my gaming shenanigans videos for this, um, part two wasn't really meant to be a video, but I made it one anyway. Um, but I did notice in the credits Jacksepticeye's and uh, Markiplier's names in the credits, so... Um, I hadn't really noticed before because I never watched the endings of um, Jacksepticeye's or Markiplier's playthroughs of, of um, Subnautica. So, eh, you'll have to forgive me for that one. But I did notice. Um, and when I, when I did watch their playthroughs, I didn't watch the entire things as I just said. Um, but there you go, there's the Seamoth. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't watch their entire playthroughs. But I did watch quite a lot. And I noted that them, along with a lot of other people, had this whole scare thing going on. Um, where they were acting, or, I don't know, over-exaggerating the scariness of the game. This game isn't all that scary, I'll be honest. Even in my first playthrough, I wasn't that freaked out. I got some chills, got some goosebumps, sure, when I was exploring the Lost Caverns, or the, the Lost River, sorry. Because the Lost River is just, I don't know, man, that, that place is just, uh... It's, it's creepy. It just gives off really creepy vibes. Um, but yeah, you know, I, 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 um, I thought, I thought it was, I thought it was fine. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's scan you. Come here. There we go. Spade fish. Uh, right, so we're running low on the old battery power for the Seamoth here, so you know what I'm going to do. Um, I am going to go back to my life pod and fetch a new power source, <laughs> new battery. Um, and then we're going to come back here and we're going to explore this. Oh, wait, no, we can't explore these wrecks yet, can we? Oh, no. You know what, let's, let's see if we can... Um, uh, can I... Do I need the torch? I don't need the torch right now. Let me unload the battery from the torch and replace the battery in my sea moth. Um, okay, here we go. Or in my sea, sea glide. All right, let's explore around this wreck because uh, there's usually stuff to scan around the wrecks. So we'll see what we can find. Um, might, might be like a mobile vehicle bay piece around here. Oh, fuck off. I don't need your, I don't need your opinion. Your opinion is trash. Oh, hello. What is this? Oh, it's the propulsion cannon fragment. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, what? Why did I get titanium out of that? I haven't gotten one of those already, have I? Fucking hell, I can't believe it. Didn't think I'd gotten one of those. Right, let's keep exploring a little. Um, you can find a lot around these ships. Um... Mm, I have a strong feeling I'm not finding no v mobile vehicle bay pieces around here. Um, these wrecks are, f are fucking cool, though. Like, just another piece of the game that I really adore. Just this idea of exploring a piece of the ship that's just crashed far away from it on the ocean bed. Um, man, oh man, that's so cool. Alright, um... Yeah, I don't... I don't think there's anything here for now. Let's uh, let's let's head back to the life pod. I think maybe the next thing we should do then is actually go and get some diamonds and get the laser cutter made. Because the laser cutter is going to allow us to continue to, you know, get the upgrades and everything. Without it, we, we can't really get a lot of the upgrades. Um, oh, there's my life pod. Bloody hell, how did I get so far away from it? 
I guess the life pod spawned in a, um, in a weird location this time around. In fact, actually, that's what, that's another thing. Apparently, the life pod can spawn in random locations in the shallows um, from file to file. So that's that's why, like, I'm getting so lost in this file. Because in the last file, I was placed in a location where I was, like, surrounded by kelp forest. In this version, like, the kelp forest is quite far away from me. Um, it's, it's in the sa exact same place on the map. You know, because, cause, like I said before, the game, or like I said in the last episode, the game does generate the map in the exact same way every time. It's just the terrain generates a little differently. That's the randomness of it. Um, but uh, because the life pod can be placed in different places, sometimes you'll be put right next to the, uh, the, the kelp zone, and sometimes you won't. You'll never be placed on the kelp zone, because, you know, it's, it's required that the life pod spawns in the shallows. But... You know, there are parts of the shallows right next to the, um, the kelp zone. Um, also, I'm forgetting to put away my fucking, um, sea glide when I'm not using it. Um, or, you know, just using it. That, that would be good. Actually use the bloody thing. Um, we haven't built a sea base yet. We, we do need to build a, a habitat builder so we can build the sea base. So let's figure out what we need for that, and maybe we can go and, and work on that this episode. Because because if we've got that, um, that's then that's another big step taken care of. Because there's lots of stuff we can't build till we have a habitat builder. So let's have a look here. Be under tools. Habitat builder needs a wiring kit, which is two silver, and a computer chip. A computer chip takes um, a oh we need a gold. Well we have gold. Okay, we need two copper for a copper wire. Two table coral samples, which I can get, and um, a gold. So, uh, do I have copper? Uh, I do, I do. I, so I can, I can make the, um, uh, I can make the copper wire at least. Oh god, I've got hiccups! Stop it! Stop it with the hiccups! Piece of shit! All right, let's have a look again. Um, right, uh, it's the computer chip, isn't it? Computer chip. Uh, copper wire, a gold, and two table coral samples. So, I have a gold, right? Uh, I do indeed. So, all we need now is, uh, two table coral. Which should just be laying around somewhere here? In the shallows? Oh yeah, there's, there's some over here. Here we go. Uh, back in the shallows once again. All that effort, you know, we went over to the aurora and we did what we needed to do. But now we're back in the bloody shallows. Um... Oh god. Uh, 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 ah, there we go. You can actually pick up quite a few uh, coral samples uh, from one of these uh, corals. So, where did the others go? Oh, there's one right here. And one fell down here, I'm pretty sure. I guess not. Well, fuck you too, game. We're going to need table coral samples later, by the way. That's that's why I'm collect I wanted to collect some extras. Because, um... They are, they, like, you need to make a lot of computer chips in this game to get to the end. But we'll make at least one for now. Just one computer chip. All right, now what's the other thing I bloody need? It's a wiring kit, right? Advanced wiring kit. Oh, right, of course. I remember those. Those things are annoying. Um, we need a wiring kit, which is two silver. So now we've got to hunt down two bloody silver. Oh, that's great. Uh, well, that means we've got to go back to the old uh, sea, uh, sea, sea thing zone, the sea kelp. Uh, let's... Uh, what can I do? What can I do? Mm, I don't. Oh, I don't need the propulsion cannon now that I'm off the aurora. I will need it later when I go back, but for now I don't need it, so we can store it. It takes up a lot of space, so... Alright, we have got everything else we need here. Um, oh, let's drink some water. Um, Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good to go and have a look for some um, some stuff. Now, I remember on the interactive map, it says that in the exact opposite direction of the Aurora, slightly over here, this sort of way, we don't have a compass yet, um, is a kelp zone. So let's go over this way until we get to the kelp zone. Um, this was the direction I think the life pod was in too, actually, so I'm not sure... Okay, well, here's the edge of the kelp zone anyway. Is this the kelp zone that I've been visiting multiple times already? I guess we'll just have to go down deep into this and uh, and explore, you know. And hopefully not die, because that would suck. 
Yeah, we've been in here before. Oh, well, let's try not to die. And let's, um, let's actually go deeper in here. Uh, let's take the torch out. Oh, wait, we don't have anything in the bloody torch. Oh, my God. Oh my Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, that was uh that was that was that was uh Yeah. Fuck me. What the What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, that's that that can happen. That's I'm I I'm 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 I'm, I'm speechless. I'm, I'm literally speechless. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Holy shit, dude. I... Oh my god. I'm literally speechless. I have no fucking idea how to react to that. Oh my god. Okay. Right. Well, fuck that. Um, I'm going to go to the kelp zone. That should be... Um, this direction. So, and again, I'm not exactly sure what part of the shallows it stuck me in. But there used to be, it used to be that I could easily get to the sea kelp zone by going in this direction. So why is it not here? That makes no sense. There's no kelp zone over here and I don't know why. Where's the area of uh, the shallows that I was actually put before? I know it generates the world in sort of the same way. Oh, here we go. Is this is this one of the is this the other kelp zone that I used to go to? I'll soon know because there's an area where I put my base in the last playthrough. Is it over here? I can't see it. Um Oh, I love the fact that there's kelp here, though. That's really pleasing to my eyes. All right, let's go to the top and get some fresh air. And then we'll go down and we'll do some sandstone mining. We've got the resources to stick around a while, so... Oh, my God. I can't believe this took me so long to do. Um, to oh, Well, I can't believe it's taken me so long to find, like, the other area. Oh, no, my power source is fucked. Again. This can be an issue at the beginning of the game, honestly. Um, oh man, I can't, wait, I have been here before, haven't I? Because there's no, like, this is the, uh, the one that has no deeper zone to it. Oh, come on, game. Work with me here. I'm trying to find sandstone. Um, god, there's gotta be, there's gotta be a cave around here or something, like an entrance down deeper. Oh, hello. What are you? Ah, a mobile vehicle bay fragment. Are you the last piece? Wait, I can all... Wait, what? I can already make a mobile vehicle bay? Hold on, hold on. Since fucking when? Since fucking when could I make a mobile vehicle bay? Are you mad? Dude, I could make a Seamoth. Are you fucking kidding me? This whole time I could make a se I am the dumbest motherfucker on the planet. Holy shit. Well, I mean, I still need the fucking, um... Uh, habitat builder, so I still need silver. But I can't seem to fucking find an area where I can go down deeper to get sandstone in here. This is usually the go-to area for sandstone, these creep vine areas, but I cannot fucking find... Any areas where there's sandstone? Oh, hold on. There's a bit of sandstone there. Okay, right. Let's go to the surface and we'll come back down again. Oh, God. Just never ends this shit, does it? Um, Alright, let's take a swig of water. My God. Alright, by the end of this bloody session, hopefully I'll build a mobile vehicle bay because I think I've got the resources for it. Um, I do need a habitat builder, though. So, silver, please. No, it's gold. Fuck. Um, any more sandstone down here, please? Um, oh, there is sandstone. Oh, good. Silver? No, it's lead. Oh, can you not? Can you just not? I'd be really, really happy with you if you just didn't. 
if you just held back for five fucking seconds, that would be brilliant. Be the best day of my bloody life. All right, no. I guess there's no... But why, why am I having such trouble finding sandstone in this game? In this file, I mean. There's supposed to be tons of sandstone down, down in these kelp zones. I found loads of it in my last playthrough. What the fuck? This is why we need the scanner room. See, the scanner room, right? The scanner room is, is one of the most important things because you can put that anywhere and as long as you build enough range upgrades, you can pretty much find anything you need. Like, if I was to stick a scanner room in, like, the central area of the shallow zone um, and then make a few of the modifications for it that give it bigger range, um, as long as it's got the power, it could continuously scan. And then you can build the HUD um, attachment, which you can put in your HUD, and it will show you where the things are it's found. So you could search for sandstone chunks, and it will just tell you where they are, and you can just go right up to them. You know, and I, I wish I had that right now, because I just cannot fucking figure this shit out. Right, well, we've got the materials to make um, the habitat builder, other than the silver. So let's let's just make the mobile vehicle zone, uh, or, or mobile vehicle um, bay for now, um, which is a lubricant, titanium ingot, and a power cell. So we, we have a titanium ingot saved, and a lubricant, weirdly enough. So let's take those two out, and we will replace them with the computer chip. I have an empty battery. Um, was there something else I needed? God, I can't believe... I cannot fucking believe this shit. Alright. Um... All right, well, it, it has zero battery, so, you know, there we go, it's dead. All right, it has zero battery, that's great. All right, so we've, we've got the titanium ingot um, and the lubricant. Um, now we just need, um, where is it, power cell. So power cell is two batteries and a silicone rubber. We do actually have two batteries. <laughs> Weirdly enough. Do we have a silicone rubber? I don't think we have a silicone rubber to spare. Yeah, we have two batteries. Oh, God. Uh, you can actually make them out of uh, batteries that are dead. So, hold on. If we if we replace these with 100% batteries... Boom. So, now we can actually use those two dead batteries. Um, okay, let's... Um, uh, let's... How do I... Wait, hold on. Power cell. Losing my mind here. Silicone rubber. Creep vine C cluster. Okay. I kept one. Brilliant. Beautiful. Alright. Silicone rubber, baby. Um, and hold on. Okay, now we make a power cell. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We have a power cell. We have our first power cell. Um, uh, we'll store this other silicone rubber in here and this lead and these two titanium. Um, we are doing pretty well here. Oh, baby. We can build the mobile vehicle bay. Oh, yes. All right. So now we could potentially build a Seamoth. I guess. <laughs> All right. We have to actually go outside and place this thing somewhere so that we can build the seam off. Um, Alright, there we go. So, to build the seam off, we're going to need quite a few things, I, I think. Um, oh, here we go, look. We can build the seam off. Cyclops, we can't build. Okay, we need another power cell. Titanium ingot, glass, lead, and lubricant. Uh, lead, we've got. Lubricant, we can easily make. Titanium ingot is pretty simple. We just get more titanium... Uh, glass. I think we have enough quartz to make two glass, so that's sorted. The power cell might be the most difficult one. Um, because for that we're going to actually need to make two more batteries, since I don't have two more batteries spare. Um, that sucks, actually. Hold on, wait a minute. No, don't I have two batteries spare? Didn't I pick up batteries? Or were those two batteries the only ones I picked up? Um, hold on, let me... Where's my locker? Um... No, there's no batteries in here. And there's no there should there's not any batteries in here, is there? No, that was it. That was all I had was those batteries. Oh fuck. Okay, well what does it take to make batteries? Hold on. 
Oh, I've got a piece of gold here I should throw away. Uh, what does it take to make batteries? Acid mushrooms and copper ore. So we're going to need two copper ore. Do I have two copper ore or am I going to actually need to get another one? I'm going to need to get another one. Great. Okay, fine. Uh, oh, and I need... Oh, I don't have enough for two glass. I need one more quartz. One more quartz, one more copper. Let's aim for that right now. Let's do that right now. One more quartz and one more copper. Uh, oh, there should be... Um... There's a, I saw this earlier when I was mining the um, <clears throat> table coral. So there we go. There's me copper. Now I just need some quartz. Also, actually, let's let's pick up some metal salvage for um, titanium for a titanium ingot. All right, now we just need one more quartz, which shouldn't actually be too hard. We just have to go out a little further, and there'll be quartz everywhere. Um, Oh, this game's atmosphere is so nice. I said that in a previous video as well. I love the atmosphere of this game. I know a lot of people would probably say I'm crazy for, you know, liking this game when it's so creepy. Um, oh, hello. Is there sandstone down here? Please tell me there's some sandstone or something. Please. I need sandstone. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, one step closer. One step closer, baby. Oh, there's some sandstone here too. Silver? Oh, it's lead. Fuck you. Oh, this asshole. Thanks, asshole. Um, okay, is there any more any more sandstone around here? Oh, it's, oh, please be silver. Please, please. No, it's gold. Fuck. Come on, guys. I just need some damn silver here. Oh, do you know what? Let's get some uh, oxygen. We haven't made too much use of these things quite yet. Maybe we can uh, look around here while we're chilling. God, there's so many of these stalkers here. That's what they're called. They're called stalkers. I keep forgetting. Can't believe it. One silver out of two. Fucking hell. I just want my habitat builder, god damn it. Oh, god. All right. It's still light outside, so we might be able to do this. Okay. Come on. Oh, don't fucking bite me, you piece of trash. Who do you think you are? Alright. Come on. Where's where's the sandstone at? Where my little sandstone buddy? Ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy. Sandstone? Sandstone? Hello? Sandstone? Okay, fine. Fine. We'll leave it for now. I've got a job to do, goddammit. I need to get some quartz. That's it. Uh, I've got my copper. I just need some quartz. Which should just be laying out here somewhere. Oh, this is all salt. No, screw that. We don't need salt right now. I am pretty salty, though. I'm getting real salty. Oh, this this area here, the uh, grassy plains, this actually contains a lot of quartz. And at the same time, it actually also contains uh, fragments as well. Um, a lot of stuff useful. Come on, where did... Why can't I see any quartz here? Oh, there's a wreck over there. Oh, that's good. Well, I mean, it's not great, obviously. You know, people probably died, but... Um, it's good for me. It means materials. Um, oh, what's this? There's a scannable object here. Oh, it's the scanner room! Oh, baby. The quicker we can make this, the better. Oh, can I actually make a scanner room? Oh, no. I need three. Oh. Damn. <laughs> that sucks. Um, well, if there's any area where I could get scanner room pieces, it's here. Oh, okay. We're running out of oxygen. Oh, there's my quartz. There's my quartz. Okay, good, good, good. All right, let's go. Let's go to the top. Get some fresh air. All right, we're we're reaching we're reaching the point here where I should really end the video. Um, I can't stick around too much longer, um, not because I've got anything else to do, but because I like to keep these videos somewhat watchable. Um, and I think that watchable to me means like something shorter. So, um, all right, let's drink some water. I've got no way to regen my health, so I'm just going to have to be very careful. Um, are there any more scanner room fragments here at this little wreck area? If there are, I want them. If not, then, you know, we'll come across the rest later. Um, and no. Oh, hold on. Bioreactor. Oh, I already got that, of course. Um, well, I mean, it's more titanium for titanium ingots. That's nice. Okay, fine, fine. We'll be back. We'll be... Oh, sandstone! Oh, please be silver. 
<gasps> Silver! Baby, we can make the... Oh, we can make the habitat builder. I just... Oh my god, I was so happy I farted. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I'm so... I'm so happy I farted. Oh, no. Oh, uh, that's funny. That's actually funny. I wish I farted loud enough for the mic to catch there, but I... I was so happy there, I just farted from joy. <laughs> wow. Has that ever happened to you? You ever been so happy you just farted from joy? Oh, that's beautiful. I never thought that would happen to me. All right, all right, all right. Let's get this done quickly before we end the video, because that's that's a beautiful way to end the video right there. Okay, that's for the glass, uh, a computer chip, um, and what was the other thing that I needed to make the habitat builder? Was it gold? I don't know. Uh, let's... Hold on, hold on. Tools. We obviously can't make it yet. Uh, oh no, it's a battery. Oh, we... Oh no. Oh no, wait. We. Oh wait, we know we, we got copper. We just need acid mushrooms, of course. Okay. Um, so hold on, if I make another wiring kit. Here we go. And now all we need is the battery, which we have copper. We just need two acid shrooms. Oh, it's, it's going well, dudes. It's going well. All right, two acid shrooms coming right up. Uh, one, two. Oh, yeah, baby, that's right. Oh, man, maybe I'll fart again. Maybe if I'm so happy, I'll fart again. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's such a stupid fucking thing. It's, it's just like me to have a really boring video that pretty much ends off with me having some weird joke. Um... All right, let's uh, let's make this bloody habitat builder, shall we? We can finally, finally start building shit. Designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Oh, I'm so happy! I can't believe it. I can finally make this fucking infuriating thing. Okay, so uh, what's what's the other thing? Okay, I need to make titanium ingot, um, so that I can. Oh, and the glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Um. Okay, titanium ingot and two glass. Oh, I needed a power cell as well. Yeah, that's okay. That's probably not going to happen this video then. Well, that sucks. Um, I mean, at least I tried, eh? You know? Um, all right. I think I've got almost everything that I need in order to make the Seamoth. I'm just going to make absolutely sure here by checking the uh, mobile vehicle bay, which is somewhere. Oh, here it is. I found it. Okay, let's climb. Alright, let's make sure we know what we're doing here. Okay, sea, sea glide. Okay, lubricant, not hard. Power cell, gonna be a little difficult. Alright, so I'll tell you what then. Next episode, next episode, holy shit. We shall make a sea moth. It will be grand. It will be magnificent. Um, until then, uh, let's listen to this radio. This is Officer Keen in Lightpod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal uh, location oh. uploaded to PDA. All right, so that um, just in case you're wondering, is the coordinates to uh, the floating island that we've just been given. Uh, so, that should be... Oh, no, it's not. It's uh, That's actually Life Pod 19. No, d yeah, we go down there, and then it gives us the location of the rendezvous point on the island, which is there where those swirling clouds are. So, yep. Next video, we shall make a sea moth, and you know what? We might just go to the fucking floating island. Because we've got a habitat builder, we've got our scanner, we can scan shit. We are in a pretty good place to head over to the island now. Oh, and there's another radio, why not? Let's play it, I've got a little bit of time left. This is life pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. 6 out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Alright. That seems to be it for the radio. 
Well, there, there you go then. That's it. Next episode, we will make a sea moth and we will go to the floating island. That will be our next journey. Until then, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!